This is Dr. Kavanaugh of Eye Associates of South Texas. I'm going to show you the new Glaucose Eye Access Trabecular Tree Fine used in conjunction with the iStent W. You can see here that we've put dispersive viscoelastic in the anterior chamber after cataract surgery and lens implantation. And we have put some dispersive viscoelastic onto the clear cornea with some cohesive viscoelastic to prepare for placement of the eye prism. We have turned the patient's head away from the operated site and we have their eye will direct them to look in the opposite direction away from the operator. This gives good access and visualization of the anterior chamber angle. We also slightly tilt the microscope uh, to give better access or viewing of the anterior chamber angle. The dispersive viscoelastic uh, on the cornea will be used as a coupling gel so that we can place the eye prism and give us a good view of the anterior chamber angle. We can see here the uh, trabecular uh, meshwork and uh, we want to place the eye stent inject approximately uh, the first one superiorly and the second eye stent inject W, we'd like to place approximately 100 degrees away in the inferior angle. And between these two ISTIN injects, we will use the new eye access trabecular tree fine to make three small goniotomies uh, with the trephination device uh, to remove portions of the trabecular meshwork. Some pressure is required and a rotation uh, movement will help remove the little sections of the trabecular meshwork. And you can see we've made three uh, small goniotomies in between the two eye sin injects. Blood is often seen refluxing out of the eye stent injects and out of the trephinated uh, trabecular meshwork. This shows reflux from the blood from Schlem's uh, canal in the aqueous uh, veins. We wash the viscoelastic from the anterior chamber angle and perform hydration of the clear cornea and paracentesis wounds before removing the viscoelastic. This allows us to rapidly increase the intraocular pressure after removing the viscoelastic to tamponade any bleeding from the eye stent injects or the trephination sites. This combination goniotomy and stenting of the trabecular meshwork uh, will significantly lower the intraocular pressure after cataract surgery and because of the small openings in the trabecular meshwork may not have the same complications uh, as a goniotomy using a 25 gauge needle or other knife or, or device. This is a very elegant way to perform a goniotomy in a controlled fashion and this device was designed by Mark Gallardo, a glaucoma surgeon uh, from El Paso, Texas. Thank you for your attention. This is Dr. Kavanaugh of Associates of South Texas.